Hey, we're here in Southside keeping it fresh. For the people, by the people. And that's a whole lot of people. Yeah! Welcome to Fresh, coming to you from London. Milo Lily, this week Fresh has got the goods for a great show. Today on Stars of the Kitchen, we are trying out MMT Otai. I think this person just bought a mango juice bottle. <laughs> this part of the tree, this is the tree that we mainly use to make um, ukaro hats, kiko hats, like decorative um, kiko things. For me, I'm not a person that, you know, likes to draw or to plan. When I see something in front of me, I like to go ahead and start it straight away. Kia orana, my name is Toka Toka, and I am from the beautiful island of Manihiki. Do you guys miss being in lockdown? <laughs> me too. I'm joking. No one does. Anyway, I bought this air fryer. I don't know why. Actually, I didn't buy it, my mum did. Lockdown. <laughs> great times, great times, I'm lying. But here's a quick reminder of a few characters that popped up that I saw in my bubble. No, I didn't break my bubble. All of these people exist somewhere. All of them are me, all right? Yeah, 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 we're gonna have a party in North Shore. <laughs> Come, bro. All the, all the influencers gonna be there, G. <laughs> bro, ping pong. Nah, 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 nah. No one will know. No one will know about it. Oh. How long was I staying? Oh, we haven't even moved. <laughs> so hungry. Guys, the announcement's on. Everyone shush. Everyone shush or come here. Come on. Like 600 cases. Yeah, today. Just stay inside. Apparently, like, traffic lights aren't working anymore. Why are they asking such dumb questions? Thank you. Support your local team. You're done. Plus, guys have 60% off frying pans. Yeah, do you want one? Do we need a vacuum? Yeah, I got two. Oh my life. Air fryer. Oh my life! Um, first thing you do is... Sorry! Oh, look back, look back! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry! Oh! You need to be! Oh, shh! It's not cheap! Cheap! Don't let me hang, bro! Bro, wash my hands! Bro, come on! Bring it in! No one's gonna see! Just come here! Come here! You guys want anything? I'm just going to the supermarket. I'll be back. Did you go in the supermarket? I forgot um, tomato sauce. I'm gonna go to the supermarket. I'm bored. I'm going to the supermarket. Uh... <laughs> what do you mean, what am I doing? I'm watching my show. Leave me alone. Get out. All right? <gasps> what? My program? Yo, <laughs> this is no season 10. You're naughty, naughty. You're teasing me. Ooh. That's it, I'm, I'm calling from, it's, it's me, it's me, yeah, I'm calling from a burner phone. Been getting tracked lately, man, people watching me. Yeah, I've seen this thing on Facebook, bro, like, the thing's about to get real, man, like, honestly, man, this guy, he's, he researched everything, and I, I watched his video. What's, what's your stance? Yeah, I don't believe in it either. Yeah, this is all fake, man. Huh? No, no, no. Life. Yeah, life isn't real. <laughs> I'm gonna post my run on Instagram. It's just my warm up. You're watching Fresh. Keep 
keep it fresh. This is Coach I Explain. E kaka kite ato ki a koto e a te popinga te tumunu i te ara. This is the middle of the tree. This is like the heart of the tree. This is what they use to make rito hats. And this part of the tree, this is the tree that we mainly use to make um, ukaro hats, kiko hats, like decorative um, kiko things. On the outer part of the tree, this is what they use to make baskets, to carry taro. The broom, it depends. You can either use the one just next to the hut, or you can just use the outside one. But it depends, because it has to be long. You have to strip it just to get the spine. The most delicate things made out of Kiko is from the hut. The more rougher things is made from the outside, like making the roofing. This is the outside this is what they use to make it. So I'm from Achu, and one of my trips to Achu, one, my, one of my mamas told me how to make this hat. So ever since I was young, I, I loved Kiko. I loved making things. And when I went to Achu, that's where I learned most of the stuff, like making baskets, making hats, um, bags, fans, everything. Um, it's important because, you know, some our culture is starting to die. Not much kids know these kind of things. So it's nice to learn. That's the bottom of the hat. In the outer islands, majority of the kids they know these kind of things, plaiting, weaving. But in Naratonga, you know, the kids sometimes, like, they, they're not really interested. So they kind, it's kind of lost in Naratonga. But really, in the outside, they know how to make these things. But when, once everything is done, you have to tighten it, because you don't want your head to be loose. It will just fall apart. And there you have it. So now it's done. This is the finished one. I think it needs sugar. You know, otai kind of looks like wai, like if you vomited, and this looks like it, which isn't a bad thing. It's not bad. It's not 100% good either. Yo, welcome back to Fresh. Who's hungry? Check out these super fresh versions of Otai. Everybody's favorite, but who did it the best, hmm? Hmm? Mahalo lele i kainga, I'm Mariner Whangai Whamula. Tello palawa, o loingo o Taylor Johnson. Whakatalo whaatu, tuko ingo ko Malama. I'm Marama. Mahalo lele, my name is Sia, and today on Stars of the Kitchen... We are trying out... MMT... Otai! OK, well, this is Otai, which is the mango version. Today I've made it with a dash of pineapple, some desiccated coconut. Low tide, yeah. And then I thought, squeeze of lemon, a little bit of milk. So that's my old thing. I think this person just bought a mango juice bottle and put it in here. I'm wondering if they just, you know, got the bottle of just juice mango pulp and put it straight in the cup. It's got big bursting coconut bubble in there. I'm not a expert on herbs and spices, so I'm not Colonel Sanders, but I think this is mint. I see a, a fruit clump. Guys, just, you know, vow or slice your fruit. It's not hard. Yeah, it just smells straight mango. I love mango. It's actually quite nice. It's just like big clumps of coconut, which make it like a little bit dry. Mm -mm. It's a clump. The white part at the top's not even got a bit of orange. It's how you know you haven't marinated your otai. I definitely taste the mint. I think this is mango. I don't know if I want to laugh or cry for the otai. <laughs> yeah, it just tastes like one of those mango drinks that you get straight from the island. I don't really think I've been inviting this person to make otai for my next family barbecue. You're welcome to come. Just bring yourself and buy the drinks from the dairy. Out of 10, I rate it a six. 
I am going to go back to being a fear Gordon Ramsay and I am going to give it two out of ten. I already knew my fly was the best, but this confirmed I will give you a three. So I made a watermelon and pineapple otai. I've never made otai before. Otai is my favourite. So my nana is Tongan. Manuya. But she's also Samoan and we didn't really grow up making Tongan dishes. So I hope I don't disappoint her with this. Ooh, pleasant surprise. We've got watermelon otai here. I can see more coconut than the fruit. <laughs> That's not otai. This looks good. Look at the colour. Uh, the watermelon tones are coming through. I see a bit of pineapple in here. Heaps of coconut, I like that. Colour-wise, probably a bit too much milk. You can see actual chunks of watermelon in there, so looks great. This is the important part. When you drink otai, you don't want it to be fatu. Fatu means thick. I like it. It is chunky, like I love my otai. Um, <laughs> it needs more sugar. I, I, I don't know, I thought it might be a bit thicker. This is making me a bit speechless because I'm I'm really disappointed, but I'll still keep eating. <laughs> Heaps of coconut. I don't know what they were going for. Do they work for the beer, beer company? But that is not about the new, it's about the fruit and the hua, the liquid. Mmm. I just think this person's probably vegan. Nah, this is bomb. I think this person's a beginner to making otai. Whoever made this knows how to make otai. They've made it before. I feel like I'm eating a fruit salad. I think I'm gonna give this otai a seven out of 10. Malo. I'll give you a, just to be nice, three. Out of 10, I would rate this otai a 10 out of 10. So my otai right here, MMT Styles, it's got the bestest coconut from Mangere Pack and Save 275. There's some mango, there is some condensed milk, some water, that's the key ingredient. And the number one secret to this is my mum made it. Ooh. Ooh. So it's not a watermelon otai. It's a nice colour. We've got the mango otai here. Now this one's a little bit more puree. Like little black bits in here, and I don't know what they are. Maybe it's like ground pineapple skin? I don't know. It looks as if there's pineapple, mango chunks. There's definitely some dark orange in here. I see little white things and I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm concerned that I don't eat enough fruit because I can't even figure out what fruit is in here. I know it's definitely pineapple. This is not too bad. I feel like it's very fruity, punchy almost. There's this bitterness to it, and I'm not sure what it is. I think they put in a bit of orange. It's quite sour. I think it needs sugar. You know, otai kind of looks like wai, like if you vomited, and this looks like it, which isn't a bad thing. It's not bad. It's not 100% good either. I think it needs more sugar, and the fruit probably needed to be a little bit more ripe, so I'm going to give it a five out of ten. Seven out of ten. I would say this is the most sour otai I've had. Give it a six and a half. All right, so today we've got my wonderful rendition of otai. It seems there was a watermelon shortage. I called Veggie Oasis Mangere and Otara, and there was no watermelon. So we've got mango otai here. All right, let's go. It is looking quite creamy. I've got some kara coconut cream in there, and I'm hoping it's a winner. Oh, another yellow otai. I'm a little bit worried now because I was the only one that used watermelon, so I hope I was on the right track there. Pretty yum. Okay, let's have a smell. Oh, this one smells really coconutty. This one has got some other fruit in it. Didn't expect that. I think this grape. <sighs> Maybe a bit <laughs> too lumpy. That's a big. That's a big lump. I'm sure that's pineapple, but let me check. Oh my god, who's this? Nuts? You didn't even slice your mango. <laughs> I'm guessing you ran out of time, or you just don't want to win because you already know I'm gonna win. This is quite nice. I think it's apple. Hey, there's something red in here. This red thing looks like purple or red onion. It's got apple in it. I get sick, you better pay my sick bills. There's not too much coconut in it there that becomes all, you know, annoying in your mouth. You can actually drink it as well. They've done a really nice combo here. Okay. 
this actually tastes nicer than it looks. Probably not as sweet as I would have hoped for, but definitely the best tasting one I've had today. Mmm, yum. I'd have another jar. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. Uh, I think I actually, I'll give that a 10. Seven. No, oh, no, 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 wait, I'll give it an eight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Most of the garments that I made is based on my childhood. I'm inspired by the environment surrounding me, you know, the sea, plants. Um, after school, I'll go down the beach and collect all these amazing shells and then bring them home and get them ready for um, my costume. The cool thing about us Pacific kids is we're young, gifted, and brown. Like this designer. For me, I'm not a person that, you know, likes to draw or to plan. Me, when I see something in front of me, I like to go ahead and start it straight away. But I'm not a fan of planning or drawing my garment because it will end up not being look looking the same. I like to go straight from my head and then do it straight away, yeah. Tenakoto, tenakoto katoto, kiorana. My name is Toka Toka, and I am from the beautiful island of Manihiki. I have a brand um, named um, Lau Semana. So Lau comes from the, my son I named Lau Dala, um, the university in Fiji that I attended last year. And Semana is, has been, is the initials of my siblings that I put together, I'm creating this, um, brand name for me. I think it's perfect. Not only represents myself, but also my siblings, my whole Mohina family. Most of the garments that I've made is based on my childhood. I'm inspired by the environment surrounding me, you know, the sea, um, the plants. Um, after school, I'll go down the beach and collect all these amazing shells and then bring them home and get them ready for um, my costume. One of the um, garments I designed was a rat design, which made people laugh at the fashion show. You know, it's unique to some people. They came up to me on the night and said, wow, who would have thought of doing that um, garment? If I am to look at the challenging piece I made, it's last year's um, outfit. I created this uh, Maine Kula Kula outfit um, for the Akudanga fashion show, and that was my finale garment. It has all these small details where you have just to keep sewing, and sewing and sewing. It took me like, I think a month. Mm. So, <laughs> I based it on the hibiscus flower. Um, I'm one that inspires the beauty of the hibiscus. And I love wearing hibiscus every day. I got a call, a surprise call from the director of the London Pacific um, Fashion um, Week, Anna Lavica. So she contacted me and asking if I was interested to participate in the London Fashion Week. You know, that just blew my mind. I, I didn't know that this would happen. So when I go, I will take the beauty of the Gok Islands with me, the use of our natural resources, the pearls, the shells, everything that's to do that represents Gok Island, our Gok Island culture. My family has been my number one supporter, especially my mom. So she inspired me to do designing. Um, I just love her, like, very much. So um, I've learned from her a lot. We are blessed by the gifts that God has give, um, given us, um, the gifts of the land, the sea, and I think we should make use of that gift that God give it, um, gave us. Um, and some other countries don't have that. And we should be proud as Cook Islanders that we have all these resources.
must wash all the car, then the wax. That's it for this weekend, Freshies. Don't forget to come back for more flavors next week. And remember, always... Keep, keep it fresh! fresh. Tune in and catch you next week. Until then, keep it fresh. I am a full-time mother to two beautiful baby twins. I am a full-time professional dancer who travels around the world. Do I have to eat it? Yep, okay. This gives me anxiety. <laughs> oh, it's falling apart. It must be like the person who baked it like their life. Tomorrow ain't promise, live for today. Don't pay attention to a word you say. Like a